are on the Hipo Espano West Coast. I'm looking forward to going down here and exploring. Let's see if we can gather some kai for creating space. I don't mind finding it. There it is. Starting to think I'm definitely not carrying a fat sack of kinners up this hill. So I don't usually do these big uh, walking hikoi missions, but I'm um, getting pretty desperate here on the West Coast Fano. And today seems like the universe has just, the stars have aligned. Some would say it's magic. Many sweaty minutes later. Now that was a mission, but look at the reward. Just making a decision whether I want to go and have a nosy around that or start over here and have a nosy around those rocks there. Maybe swim out to that one, but I don't know. I'm not too confident in these ugly blitz ones. If you're ever going to purchase some fins, far no, don't purchase the blitz ones, they're rubbish. All right, we're all geared up. Going to save my karaki up and then uh, head out there. See you guys when I get back on shore. Hopefully the Moana is feeling kind and generous and will find us some kai for creating space to uh, feed the community, to bring the people together. Whew, here we go. Main mission, main mission. Back on shore now. And this is what we're going to find now. Oh. Oh, we did the money finder. Back on shore. So, I went out here, straight off the coast, dived my way up and down, or up and down, all the way out till I got to that rock out there. Zoom in. Till I got out to that rock. And then, I just sort of made my way left, started coming away, diving up and down, and, and just I just worked in the centerpiece here. Um, a lot of the structure out there is all quite uh, bouldery, just because of the constant uh, swell. But uh, kai out there, find out it wasn't easy. I'll tell you that much. It wasn't blooming easy finding these crayfish, but uh, we found them. And I also got some beautiful yellow foot too for dinner. I have these yellow foot for tea. These are good size yellow foot, these ones. That's a good size yellow foot. And they're beautiful. Bit of garlic, just uh, pan fried. And I brought a fat kinner back onto shore just to have one on the shore for giving me a bit of energy on my blooming hikoi up the, up the cliffs in the moonga. But um, there it is, whanau. Our mahi done got our six coder. Didn't see any other blackfoot power. Um, I wasn't doing any big uh, swimming missions over to the islands just because of my fins are stink. Um, there we have. This was a big, beautiful coder. He was a big, blooming, powerful coder. Look at the size of that bad boy. Ooh. That's like a blooming. That's a South Island coda, finally. That's a South Island coda. Wow, that is South Island. Good energy to get me up this Plymouth Hill. Mm. Oh. Rico. Beautiful. Let the mission begin. Up the moment we go. Boom. Kai for creating space. Tenakwe te moana. Thank you, beautiful divine creatures, for your beautiful energy. Your energy won't be lost, it'll only be transformed.
Morena, you beautiful creations. It is a stunning morning this morning here at the beautiful Macafiel River on the edge of the Macafiel River. And um, I've connected up with a beautiful whanau, um, the Bro Shannon and his wahine. And um, as you are about to see, he's right into his carving and his uh, ponamu and his um, uh, hini aotea. If you guys don't know what that stuff is, um, jump on the Facebook. I'll leave his link to his um, mahi in the, in the description below. And um, yeah, we're going to go inside and have a bit of a hot drink. Today's mission is a bit of an interesting one. I'm going to vlog, I'm going to vlog today because we've got a few things going on. I'm going back up to uh, currently down in Macafiel, which is about <clears throat> three and a half hours from Hokitika. And I'm connecting up with the brother Josh James, finally connecting up with the brother Josh James. And I'm uh, going to crash at his place tonight. And then we're going to go and um, probably do a mission somewhere tomorrow to go and gather some more kai for creating space. So it was a mean, wicked buzz yesterday getting out there in the Moana on the wild west, southwest coast. It is grunty here. But um, got out there, did the mahi, got the kaura. And um, yeah, secured some kai for creating space. Um, Haramai whanau, bring you fuzz along. Hey, kia ora brother. No mai haramai. Cheers. These are, you know, this is one of the many taonga that, that we have here on the Taipotini. Yep. And just to picture this, sitting up in yeah. the wilderness on a riverbed somewhere. Mm. Um, mm, giving that awa a lot of colour, a lot of beauty. Mm. That's And this is, this is what it looks like and it, that was its raw state when it was found on the awa. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened, what it looks like. When you, oh, when you cut it in half, look at that. That's a powerful color, eh, bro? Mm. And this is the only awa that has this out here. Yes. In New Zealand. In in the in the world, I've been told about one other. I haven't seen a piece from there. I've I don't doubt it, but I I I think there would be a point of difference in terms of color and characteristic of. Of, of this um, you, stone. You. Uh, it is three, based on three minerals, kyanite, fuchsite, and quartz. And depending on how they're mixed and formed in the stone will determine its color. So you'll get some that are light, some that are darker, um, some that are more sort of crystallized. And, and because it is sort of that gemstone, it is quite, it's got kyanite in it, so it's a crystal. And you'll oh. find that, that the way it forms, it almost glitters. Yeah, bro, in the long does. That, what the heck? Look at this. Far out. That is stunning. Beautiful mahi too, bro. Like you know, with your with your vision of your carving and is there a story behind these ones? Obviously. Yes, my bro. Yeah. Um so I'm a traditionalist. I love the traditional corridors. Yeah. And so I try and capture that in and a lot of my mahi, but also in New Zealand a way to explain um, who I am as a person, my journey, yep. um, and also um, who I am. Uh, yeah, we can tell our stories of our hapu, our iwi, through our mahi. Oh, um, and here in uh, the Taipotini, we have ponamu to do that, so um, I'm just yeah, putting a heartbeat to the stone, I like to say. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful, and it looks like a two brother. That's made with, that's made with aroha, eh? Lots of aroha. What does this one, read? this one looks a bit like a tanifa or something. Ah, uh, yep. So that's taken off the manaya design. Um, obviously the corridor of the manaya is a spiritual guardian. Yep. Um, so with that I like to play a lot with the sky, papatsuanuku yep. and, and water, um, tangaroa. So you, you've got those three elements and incorporating what you're trying to the, the story that you're trying to tell, um, you're able to design that into a um, beautiful carving or into a beautiful tonga. Yeah, beautiful tonga. The, the main focus is that you're able to walk your own journey with a piece of Hineotia, and of course, there's a lot of essence healing powers in, in, this, in the modi of the stone, so that's its main purpose. Here's the rose pad. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Good night, mate. Yeah. What are you up to? Tagging the head? No. It's I don't know. <laughs> is that a wild no, deer or what? I can't figure it out. He's going to bolt. Well, what if I get out? Is he going to freak out?
He is too. It's full on a wild bear. You reckon? It's got to be. Look, it's, he's real nervous. He's only staying there because of the cows. Come on, mate. For sure it's wild. And that's bizarre, isn't it? That's out of it. Right on. Here we are, Fanu. Gathering who grubs. Brother Josh. Choice. That's what we're looking for, Fano. Fat hoo hoo grub. This is the hoo hoo grub territory. Oh, you found one? Good look, Jack. Beautiful. This guy is just about transformed. Look, look at him. He's like an actual bug, eh? Like he's turned into like a. Here, let's grab him out. Let's grab him out. He's nearly a wetter. Yeah. Do they turn him to wetters? Wow. Oh, wow. In the container he goes. God, this guy turned into a wetter. A what? He's just about transformed. Okay, don't care. That's right, we'll find another one. How are you going there, Jack? Did you find one? Oh, that's that transformed one, eh? Tenakwe, divine universe for this beautiful gift. Mm. Whoa. Good. That's a good feat. It is. And this is Charlie. Hi. And this is Dominic. Dominic. Charlie's setting up our little uh, gas burner so that we can bring our beautiful coat up. And then hopefully we can cook it up in this big pot right here. Right, we're going to need some water. You got a hose around here, Charlie? Yep. Ready? She's going to go full bore now? Yeah, Dom. So what's going on here, boys? Oh, look at, oh, look at him. He's got all of his eggs. Ah, oh, there we go. We're what gonna is let that? him go. What, are they, what do we call that? She and Berry. She's in Berry. Look at that, it's a little baby one, eh? Mm. Let's look at the package. Wow. Package is going to be delivered to their home. Oosh, what if they, what if they snip a hole in it? Then we better go quick. <laughs> awesome, boys. Yeah. See you when you get back. Yeah, we'll be back soon. Our first lot of craze just gone into the boil. Two big boys will be going in shortly. It's not so yummy. First time I've jumped on the table and there's been hoo hoo grubs for tea. Charlie, can you chuck a